I'm Brant Billinghurst. I am the beamline responsible for the far infrared beamline here at the Canadian Light Source. Here, what we try to do is help researchers from around the world and in all different fields to use vibrational spectroscopy, specifically in the far infrared region, to help their research. And we will do for almost any type of research. We do liquids, gases, solids, all phases. We do some in operando. Whatever research you want to do, we will try to use far infrared spectroscopy to help you with it. The spectrometer we have here on the beamline is an IFS. 125 HR spectrometer from Brooker. That spectrometer has the second highest spectral resolution of any spectrometer commercially available in the world. In conjunction with that, we have a long pass gas cell, which was made by NRC. It has a pass length of up to 72 meters in length, so we can have very low pressures of gases inside, which allows us to take advantage of that high resolution. It is also temperature controlled relatively easily from anywhere from about 300, 320 K down to about 200 K using a recirculating chiller. And if we really want to try hard, we can get down to 100 K to emulate environments on other planets in our solar system or in our galaxy for astrophysical research and astrochemical research, which is one of the main reasons that gas phase spectroscopy is done. With the synchrotron, because it is a, such a small source, so we can get all of that light through even a small aperture. We can have our super high resolution and we can get good throughput and really good signal to noise. So we can get a spectrum that would take weeks or even months to run in a day. And this allows us, particularly for things where you're going down to really low temperatures or doing something else that's not necessarily stable, we can get great spectra in that short period of time, which may not even be possible otherwise. The other base technique that the beamline was envisioned was uh, for high pressure sites. Now this is looking at very, very high pressures. We're using a diamond anvil cell to create these high pressure environments to understand what happens at these high pressures. One of the things I really love is here, you can use all these different techniques here at the CLS and they can all be used in a complementary manner. And so if you are here coming here for a, a different experience, think about coming and visiting us too and see how, how we can add to your experiment. All these wonderful ideas from different scientists from around the world come here and talk to me and we do research together and I get to do something different every day. That's really what I love. And it's, so it's, a, it's absolutely a perfect a perfect place for me.